Hi, welcome to a cooperative virtual learning experience from Embryo to Chick. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Victoria Brewer and I'm the Chatham County 4-H Extension Agent. Before we dive into our 4-H embryology curriculum, we must discuss one very important topic, hand washing. So for today's lesson, we will look at what germs are, how germs spread, the do's and don'ts of hand washing, and why proper hand washing is so important. So who's ready to do some investigative learning? I know I am. Keeping our hands clean is one of the best ways to avoid spreading germs to other people, things, and animals. Germs are tiny bugs or microorganisms that like to hide in lots of places. So, what are some places that you think germs like to hide? That's right! Germs like to hide everywhere. In our hands, they act as vehicles, transporting germs to and from everything we touch. Oops, I just touched my face. And now the germs from my hands are on my face. People frequently touch their faces without even realizing it. And the eyes, nose, and mouth are great ways for germs to enter the body, causing us to become sick. I know, growing up, I was taught that sharing is caring. But germs are one thing you don't want to share. So, let's take a closer look at how germs spread. For today's investigation, how germs spread, we need to be able to see germs. But germs are so tiny. How will we ever be able to see them? Through a microscope. Through a microscope. That's right. You are so smart. A microscope is an instrument used to see very small objects. I'll go look for my microscope now. So, I have some good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? The bad news. The bad news? Okay. I don't have a microscope. I know lack of planning on my part. I apologize for that. But the good news is I did find this magic potion called glow germs that will show us all the germs on my hands. All I needed was this special black light to see the germs. But first I have to apply the glow germs for us to see it. I better get started. So, let's see what glow germ does when we turn the lights off. Ooh, look at those germs all over your hands. And they even spread to the light switch. switch. And oh my goodness, it's even on the toilet seat. Ooh, gross. Well, that was a little scary. How easily I spread my germs to and from everything I touched. The good news is with proper hand washing techniques, I can reduce the amount of germs on my hands, which decreases the chance of myself getting sick, as well as getting other animals and people sick. So let's take a look at the do's and don'ts of proper hand washing. Now, I'm going to show you a couple videos. For the first video, I would like for you to identify all the things that you don't want to do in washing your hands. Oh goodness, somebody is not going to have clean hands. identifying all the ways you don't want to wash your hands, like touching the faucet to turn the water on and off, 
or putting soap on your hand only to put them under the water and to let all the soap run off, and washing your hands for only a short amount of time. So let's take a look at this next video, and I want you to look for all the ways that I am washing my hands properly. To get your hands really clean, we have to wash them for 20 whole seconds. But how will we know 20 seconds has ended? I know. Hey, every day is somebody's birthday, so let's sing happy birthday two times. Come on, sing with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Our hands are so clean now. Awesome job identifying all the ways we do want to wash our hands. Let's take a quick second to review what you said. Number one, we want to make sure that we're not touching the faucet if at all possible because the faucet is a place where germs like to hide. Two, making sure we scrub our hands for at least 20 seconds, which is about the time it takes to sing the alphabet song or the happy birthday song twice. Three is after we add the water and soap it's actually removing our hands from under the water so we can scrub for a full 20 seconds without the soap washing off. Four is making sure that we scrub under our nails, between our fingers, and around our wrist because those are places that germs like to hide. And number five is making sure that we use something clean to dry our hands, whether that's air or a towel or a cloth. Thank you so much for helping me go through the do's and don'ts of hand washing. Well, our time together is almost over, but before I wrap up this lesson, I would like to quickly review why hand washing is so important. As you recall, germs are very tiny bugs or microorganisms that like to hide in lots of places. In fact, they like to hide everywhere and our hands transport them to and from everything we touch. By washing our hands with proper technique, we can decrease the amount of germs that we spread to and from people, places, animals, and things. While hand washing is important throughout the entire day, it is especially important before we eat, after we use the restroom, before and after handling chicks or eggs or any type of animal. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to having you as a part of this program. Jeanette will be joining you on Wednesday. She will be discussing warming up eggs, and I will return on Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you Friday.